hope is finding you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Seen this it. here is gonna called the uh, look away technique. Look away technique. Okay. So Sarah, look at me. Oh, awesome. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it a couple more times. Okay. Look at me. Look at me and go like this. Go. Like you're gonna. No. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a Facebook yeah. thing or something. Okay. This is all to relax the model. Way, Sometimes, like you know, mm -hmm. uh, really when they're younger or when they're less experienced. So you may, do you they, ever like um, look at your? Is it your They get a little, little bit too nervous. Yeah. So this go, look away technique is really great. All the time. Yes, that, exactly. You have them turn their face, like, close their eyes, right, not think about Look anything, and then <laughs> they they turn around. Growl, growl at them, like, they give you the expression, <laughs> and you capture them completely. Do that. Do that again, but don't you don't do the hands. Okay. Okay. So ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ways to loosen them up. <laughs> You're gonna like growl at me. Ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> you you turn them all into lions, buddy. <laughs> Okay, let's do it again. Sarah, seriously, you need to relax. You ready? No, wait. <laughs> you ready? Focus? Okay, you gotta go. Arr! Arr! Total location hunting right now. Uh, you know, we, we came here not only to see the new Dali Museum, uh, but to shoot some natural light photos. But sometimes, you know, we don't know exactly where to go or what to do. So ideas just, location hunting is important. We have the reflector and we're going to use it as the background. You just have to be really careful because I am now blinded. All I see is gold and blue and orange. Um, that's going to be the, her backdrop technically outside in this gorgeous natural light. We have to diffuse it and just to try to save our model's eyes just a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to do that look away technique, which is she's going to have her eyes closed. Just relax and I'm just going to tell her open it, take the shot and hopefully you'll come out with something cool. A little bit, yep, you're gonna have to scrim it. Sarah. Over here. What? Up? Sarah, that and way. Then the, the closer that you get, mm -hmm. the softer the light, because the bigger the light source. Hold in. Mikey, so we're in this parking garage? Maybe one of them put a little bit closer. I like that. And kind of. Hang on one second. Just want to get the shot. Yes, Annie. We're in a parking garage, and we're just kind of walking around. A little bit of a wider stance, and we think we got it. Just a little wider. I like that. Just like that. Now look at me. Awesome. Cool. So we are in a parking garage. They're really cool. I like that one. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's really, really cool. The wind was blowing. So we park in the garage. We got reflections coming out um, from the parking lot from cars and from the sun. We got really, really blue light, and we're using a, just a reflector, just to reflect a little bit of the light. We're, but we're using the silver side, not the gold side. Right, just to bring in that fill from the shadow. Also, what we did, we noticed that the white balance. It was a really blue light. We really wanted to warm it up and give that really warm uh, setting. So we actually changed the white balance. White balance. I put mine over to the cloudy setting. So the cloudy. The cloudy is going to bump it up. That's correct. Okay. And so that gray wall is going to give, it's kind of going to get like a little glowish, yellowish, there went our reflector. It's going to give it kind of a glowish effect, which is really, really beautiful. Right. And another thing that's kind of cool is these trees are producing a little bit of a shadow and pattern yep. on the back here. So that's, <laughs> it's kind of cool too. So we got, I mean, we're in, we're in a parking garage. Against a gray wall. <laughs> it's a, and she goes, that's my favorite shot. <laughs> against that little wall, try to against that stainless steel. And this is always fun because this is where I make the models work. Can you hold this for But me? it will actually help just a little bit and it will give her that reflection because she does have those light eyes. It, it does, it does. Uh, so what I do is I, I, I always focus on the eye. Because yep. I'm shooting at 2.8, and yep. if she turns her head, you know, it's possible that, that you know, one of her eyes could be out of focus. So I'm going to have her look straight at me. I'm going to focus on her eyes. We have a fidgety model. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Um, but I, and then I'm going to zero it out of my meter, right? And then I'm just going to go, I like to have it a little bit on the hot side. I like that. I like to look down again. So we're going to go a little bit, one third of a stop overexposed. Look down again.
Maybe? I'm, I'm using a really closed aperture so I can get that really cool star effect from the uh, from the lens flame. I'm just blinded right now. Okay. Look at me. Open. Go. Thank you.